last game, um, when the shots weren't falling, you guys locked in on D. Um, they only scored four points uh, for the last about ten minutes of the game. Um, tell me about what you guys do when, when they're you know, closing the gap and, and you need to lock down on D. What are you telling your team? I think we were, were at times begging for energy in this game. Um, we finally found some in that fourth quarter and, and no better time than those last 10 minutes to uh, only give up four points. And we switched a little bit of our um, our defense to just just get more aggressive, tips, deflections, you know, did a little bit something, something different with the ball screen defense. And I thought that changed the momentum. We just showed a little bit more activity. And, um, you know, we were searching for that for 30 minutes and then obviously getting stops allowed us to just have that freedom to get out and transition a little bit more. I thought we did a much better job towards the end of the game of executing certain sets that we were trying to do. Uh, and then our bench, a couple kids came off and man, did a tremendous job of, of bringing that energy. Really proud of them. Um, two big parts of the offense went down with Savannah and Kendall, especially down low. Mm -hmm. um, how do you change your offense when something like that happens unexpected? Yeah, well, our, our big game plan was to get the ball inside. I thought we had the size advantage. We thought we could get to the free throw line a little bit. Um, they're physical. I mean, I, I just thought there was a, just a, a, a battle down low, and there wasn't much fluidity because we were trying to get the ball inside. Um, so we played a little bit more four-guard lineup and opened things up and just talked about let's get paint touches no matter what that means, right? A guard getting in there, an offensive rebound. Kenzie came in and got a couple big plays. And even when we didn't necessarily grab the ball, we could, you could see our energy level was, was improving. So, you know, we have different packages based on lineups, and I wasn't real concerned, you know, that we were going to have to change anything big. It was just about getting to the next kind of package that we do, whether we got a bigger lineup or a, a smaller lineup but um, and then Lauren Dickerson was Lauren Dickerson late made some big baskets for us which is um, what she does night in and night out. Two things that stand out to me are the the plus minuses of your two guards Leah and Lauren um, when they were in together sometimes you had Lauren running off ball um, some sets off the ball how is this something new that you've kind of been looking to implement more this year to get Lauren more touches off the ball and have Leah run the point? Yeah, I think it just gives us some versatility. Uh, you know, Lauren, or Lauren has the ability to score the basketball so well, and, um, you know, we can move Leah over to that point and uh, just kind of just get her off and um, have Leah just give her a break too, right? So that's what we tried to do it a couple times. It didn't always go quite as perfect as, you know, I would like it, but we're going to work in progress. So what, what I loved about Lowe and Leah after our first game against Canisius, we, we really spent some time, the three of us, of just kind of going through our sets and, you know, just different adjustments we can make and just talking about, hey, when, when we're a huddle on the court, their communication to their teammates and, and making sure we're, you know, they're a continuation of, of, of me from the sideline. And I thought thought we did a much better job of that, and, and we'll continue to, to push them to, to, to rise up and, and lead their team in, in whatever way um, they need to. You talked about the physicality, Coach, and, and you know, through two wins here to begin the season, two wins kind of different ways, but it took a lot of physical effort in both of those. Tonight it was just a physical battle. Uh, has to play strongly into what you guys do during the summer in getting ready for this. I know sometimes athletes look at that and like, why are we doing this? Mm -hmm. uh, it has to at least give them a little encouragement that they, mm -hmm. they didn't fade in either one of those basketball games. And physically, it's, it's relatively easy to do in those games. Right. We, we talk about that in timeouts and in huddles that we're the team in, in better shape. We have the depth of our bench. And that was a little bit of the difference between our first game versus tonight versus Eastern Kentucky. I trusted our bench a little bit more to bring fresh bodies in and I, I think hopefully we're not quite there yet but I hope down the stretch when we get to Mac play in a couple months that we're going to have some of our young guys um, with their confidence a little higher they're going to get more reps obviously in practice and then game experience but yeah it's um, you got to find different ways to win some nights it's ugly sometimes you're shooting the ball well sometimes you aren't and um, you know we're talking about we are going to be the tougher team right and if it's physically tough and we can't overcome that we're going to be mentally tougher and I think that was a little bit of the difference in these these two games of we were mentally very positive with each other. You know, there was no tired, right? And I thought we wore them out a little bit. And some of those shots that they hit earlier in the game, you know, they, they, they were now a little bit shorter and we were able to rebound the ball and, and take off. So I, I'm, I'm optimistic that that will be hopefully um, a staple of our team this season. Miami grabbed the early lead to begin the game and that lead they did not give up. What was Miami doing well, even when they started the game, maybe not shooting their best? I think we're just we're talking about getting our pace right and what that means and and what offensively we can do to have that happen inside touches 
um, penetration. I thought we, we took a, t a few too many kind of like just lackadaisical outside shots versus getting the ball movement and, and getting more outside shots within rhythm. Uh, but w we still have to take pride in our defense and the toughness. And, um, you know, coming out, Abby Wright, one of their key players, you know, was pretty hot early on. And, you know, we had challenged, you know, our group to like, hey, who, who wants to shut her down? And it's not that she's, you know, it's exactly what we talked about in preparation. And somebody's got to find a way to, to make a play and, you know, shut her down and limit her touches. So I think we did a much better job with her. I think she was six for eight at halftime and it finished up eight for 15. So um, that was a big key to kind of slowing down their offense as well. Speaking of slowing down their offense, what adjustments did your team make, especially with two key parts of your offense going down with injury? What adjustments did you make to make sure that you slowed them down and didn't let them get back in the ball game? I think we just we switched our defense a little bit and, and said, you know, if we're going to, you know, kind of end the second half. It's going to be off aggressive, you know, ball screen defense. It's going to be off rotation. It's going to be everybody blocking out. Uh, we were a little bit smaller um, with Abby Hoff in there and Bailey Reed at the kind of that forward position. Uh, and then I think we, we just, we, we, you saw our confidence start to change a little bit more. You saw the energy in the building, you know, go up and, you know, whether it's us screaming from the sideline or, you know, Lauren showing a little bit of motion out there, just trying to manufacture, you know, that energy um, that can in turn, you know, win you some games. Coach, do you have any status updates on uh, Kendall or Sav? Uh, Savannah's good. We'll wait and see with Kendall. I know she's in with the doctors, and um, you know she's she's a kid. I told her I said if you got to get in that training room four times a day, she'll be the one that's in there. So um, she was great, it, just in the locker room, very high spirited. So obviously a big piece of what we do. So we'll see. Um, we'll see. Obviously after you know sleeping through the night, um, what it looks like, and then move forward. Thank you, Coach. Congrats on the win tonight. Thank you. Appreciate it. Lauren, a tough win tonight, but um, a nice balanced stat sheet for you. Uh, you got seven boards and five assists and three steals. Um, what was going through your mind, uh, you know, when you f when you were uh, when they closed the gap? Mm -hmm. um, what's going through my mind is stick to what we do. Uh, coach uh, instilled in our brains that we had to get post touches, move the ball, and then my teammates found me. I got some good looks, uh, and then I found them, and they got some good looks, and we knocked it down. So I think that helped a lot. But we stayed true to ourselves and stayed confident, even when they did close the gap. But I feel like we pulled it out then. They lost Kendall earlier in the game and then Savannah later in the game. But mm -hmm. in the fourth quarter, you still managed to put up 18 points as a team. What was going uh, on in the offense for those uh, last, last quarters? We started pushing tempo and getting steals a lot. They tried to get into 14, great player in the post with Leah Purvis coming up big with a few steals. Um, and then we got it on the outlet, Kristen Levering on some some uh, full court runs and we're getting it to her. She finishing with the layup. Abby Hoff came up big, Bailey Reed. Um, I feel like we just got some good shots and we executed. You had 11 different Miami players get into the game and get minutes today. Could you talk a little bit about how the balance on the court was working for your team? Uh, it was big. Uh, we talked about that uh, after the game, that them coming in, putting in great minutes is what, what we need, especially when people going down, losing Kendall early and then losing Sav. We need people. So uh, Abby Hoff did a great job. Kenzie came in getting boards. I think they did a great job, and they stepped up really. Uh, could you talk about the overall effort that you each put into the game, especially when you did have a couple players go down, and how that affected the morale of your team on the bench? Um, we had to work for a lot of things, and when, when we're going good, we're a good group, and I feel like confidence is, is what we need, especially with from the bench, them um, cheering for us, getting loud, get exciting, and all that good stuff. So I feel like we... We looked to them for a lot, but it came from our hard work, and then and then things started going our way, which helped a lot. We got hit shots, got boards, and then went the other way, and I feel like we just did a good job with that. Thank you. Congrats on the win tonight. Thank you.